uh, the, the other critical piece, right, is the dead donor rule, which is to say, if it's a vital organ like a heart or a liver, that person has to be dead before you take their organs, because if they're not, then you're effectively killing them, which would be which would be at least manslaughter, uh, if not murder, uh, for the benefit of someone else. Right. And that's illicit. You can't kill somebody, which is, you know, thou shalt not kill. Um, that applies to organ donation, right? So the person, if it's a vital organ, they have to be dead. Um, what we'll find, uh, Colleen, when we look at the uh, the discussion of this in, in the literature, is that uh, there are certain organs like heart, like a heart, for example, that once it stops beating, is essentially useless for a transplant. So there's novel definitions of death that have been um, adopted by the medical community to be able to permit heart transplants. Um, because if your heart stops beating, it's no good for a transplant. They want blood flowing through your heart. But the problem is if blood is flowing through your heart, that also means you're alive. Uh, and so they have these novel definitions of death and we can talk about what those are um, you know, subsequently. But I just wanna kind of set the stage for distinguishing First of all, between vital versus non-vital organs and making sure that we clarify, you know, the importance of consent and the importance of this fundamental shift in healthcare care um, away from the, you know, treating the patient as an end in and of themselves.